folks, welcome back to Aussie Beekeeping. So it's the 5th of February today. We're checking out the top bar hive. Let's get into it. So the first thing I've noticed is there's a few dead bees down the bottom here. There's one fundamental flaw, and that is when I take the roof off, it actually grips these bars and it pulls one of these bars all the way out. And on that bar was some newly drawn comb. So that's a bit of a bummer. I'll have to uh, modify the design a little bit. So I'll pull this end board out. There's a lot of ants in here. So it actually doesn't look very good. It's a lot of brood that's been chewed. So they've drawn this comb out. On the other side, just some bees. And they had started to draw this one out, but as you can see here, that's that comb that got torn. It was actually crooked anyway, so it's probably not a terrible thing. So one of the most important things when you manage top bar hives is that you don't ever tilt the frames this way. What you can do is you can lift the frames up like this, you can turn them round, you can even put them upside down. But what you can't do is lay them over. This one's got some funny looking brood down the bottom. It might have just got chilled. And on the other side of this frame, they're pretty quiet, these guys. I'm putting these frames behind the camera. So next frame in, they're festooning together. They might have joined a bit of comb. No, they're just festooning. So that's okay. They're obviously making new comb. Look how wobbly those bees are. And it looks like there's brood. So that's a really good sign. Super quiet bees. This is the opposite side of the frame. There's a lot of bees on frame, so that would tell me that they're probably trying to increase their brood. And the next frame, so this is the main one that we had last time. Now remember, we can lift them up in the vertical plane. We can even tilt them upside down. You just can't take them that way or that way, this way or this way. Looks pretty good. I'd like to see them a little bit stronger. Pop that one behind the camera. And then this frame here. I'm just going to check for eggs. I can't see any eggs on that frame, but when I put them back, I'll have another look. And you can shake top bar frames. You just got to be very, very gentle. All right. So I'll pop those back. I'm going to shake this frame off and check for brood. So it looks like they're under a bit of stress, but she has laid out more brood. I wonder why that is.
and again brand new comb and there is brood in there no eggs and larvae though <coughs> Hopefully this next frame. I'm gonna shake these guys off. Right, there are eggs in there. But their numbers are very low. We will just leave them to their own devices. I wonder if I give them a shake of these from another hive. So no luck in the white hive split, so I'm going to have a look in the Italians, see if I can't find the queen and get some brood to this top bar hive. Again, you can see there's an enormous amount of brood in here, so hopefully I can find the queen and get some brood to this other hive. All right, so I found my queen. I'm going to quickly put her in a cage. Okay, so she's in there. Hopefully you can see her. Just gonna sit her there for a little bit. And I think I'm gonna take three frames of brood from here and shake it into that top bar. So I've got my three frames of brood. Instantly, an injection of bees into the hive. these frames back in and coax these bees back in as well. And ever so slowly moving that board and I am killing bees but anybody who's bee kept for a while knows that unfortunately Sometimes you do kill a few bees. So I'll let those guys just relax for a bit. I'll get this frame of brood back in. So that frame of brood is back in. Put the queen in a safe space, put this last frame in, and that's probably the equivalent of taking a split, which is sort of unfortunate, but when you look at the amount of bees in this hive, I do not think it's going to worry them much. Right, so frame in. Open up 
the old uh, cage. Here's the queen. Has she come out yet? I don't think so. I'm just going to gently close that. Got in there. I might have to just gently still in there. See her. No, it looks like she's got out. We'll review the footage and I'll slow mo it for her. Okay, so this hive has got an injection of bees. Gonna let those guys go in. Close them up. So I'll pop the lid back on these guys. That should be enough bees to get them going again. There's a queen, but there's not enough bees. Looks like they've probably absconded after I put them in this hive. Where they went, who knows. But I'll close it up. I'll see you on the next one.